It seems that changing the keyboard isn't the only feature to have made its way over to iOS in iOS 8. Widgets are finally here, just not where you might expect. Unlike Android that has widgets you can place on the home screen, Apple has opted to put them in a little less obvious place, the notifications. Now widgets, in case you aren't familiar, differ from apps in that they serve their function or bring some information, i.e. the weather, stock information, etc., to you without having to open them. Simply go to where the widgets are, see what you need at a glance, and be done. These little gadgets can actually be pretty useful, so it is nice to see them on iOS, even if just in the notification center. If you pull down the notification center and tap today, you'll most likely see some widgets that Apple has already added for you. Weather, calendar, stocks, and so on. To manage them and add new ones, simply scroll to the bottom and tap edit. From here, you can remove widgets you don't want, reorder them, and even add new ones. Where are these new widgets coming from? Well, if the developer of an app created a widget for their app and you update the new version of that app, or download any app that has a widget bundled with it, it will just automatically show up in the list of widgets that you can add here. Then just tap the plus sign, move it to where you want it to go, and boom. Your notification center just got a lot more useful. Now since this is a relatively new feature, don't expect all your favorite apps to have a widget. But as with any new iOS feature, you can pretty much guarantee their developers being yelled at to work on the new widget for XYZ company as we speak. So check back to the App Store in the coming weeks to see if that app you love has an update that just might have a shiny new widget on the